layer independence. That's what these marching ants are. They are layer independent. Just because I created these marching ants based on what's on this background layer doesn't mean that you can't do other things with these marching ants. So here's an example. Now I'm going to add a layer. Now I know we haven't talked about layers yet. We'll get to that in a week or so. But um, you can't, <laughs> you need to do some of these things. So I'm going to create a new layer. And now this marching ant really is applied to this layer. So for instance, I might go get my brush tool and maybe uh, just paint some black along the edge. I'm going to make a big brush here and do a soft edge like this all the way around the duck. Okay, now all the stuff that I just painted is on a separate layer. The original duck has not been harmed in any way. It's just that I was able to use those marching ants that I made here and use them somewhere else. And they look like this. Now as long as we're talking about um, how to do selections, I'm going to deselect these marching ants for a minute. And I'm going to show you a very special trick that people don't seem to remember. Here's the special trick. Uh, let's say that I wanted to do a selection on just the stuff that I've painted. Not the entire duck, but just what's visible on this layer. There's a very cool trick. You hold down the command key. Obviously that's the control key on Windows. And I'm going to click on this layer thumbnail. Notice my cursor. It has the hand and it's got what looks like marching ants on there, right? Watch this. So command click, boom, and now there are marching ants on the visible pixels.